Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you, Abdul Rahman? Good, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, barakallahu feek. How is the day going? Good. MashaAllah. How's all? Have you been to school today? Yes. Okay. Are we going to have class tomorrow? No, no. Uh, we have holiday. Because I'm going out of state tomorrow. Okay, no, we do not we do not have class tomorrow, okay? Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's off. Okay. Okay, mashallah. Uh, did you revise whatever we had studied yesterday? No, I forgot it. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's begin the class. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rectify your intentions. Anything and everything. Start with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And start with seeking help of Allah the Almighty. Rabbi Shrahli Sudri Via Sidli Amri Rahlul Ukwada Tamil Sani Yapfahu Kali. Come on, repeat after me. Rabbi Zidni Ilma, Rabbi Zidni Ilma, Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Okay, mashallah. And this one better. Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'altahu sahla wa anta ja'alu al-hazna idha shi'ta sahla. Allahumma la bima alimtani wa alimni ma yanfa'uni wa zidni. Mashallah, barakallahu fiki. Alhamdulillah. So which topic we were discussing yesterday, Abdul Rahman? Um, about percentages. Yes, mashallah. What's percentage? What's a percentage, Abdul Rahman? A percentage? It's, it's anything that's expressed in the form of out of 100, right? Anything which is, it is a part of a 100, correct? Yes. Yes. You can write percentage until 100% itself, right? Not over 100%. Okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, what's the definition of percentage? It is a part of out of 100 okay yes. a person is a part out of 100 that's all this is the formula for calculating the percentage what is the formula abdul rahman it is nothing but part over whole multiplied with 100 gives you what percent you want to calculate okay yes. the value over total value into 100 gives you the percentage am i right can I write it down? Uh, yes, Vita? Can I write it down? Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Write it down. The value over total value or part over whole into 100 gives you what percent you want to calculate. For example, if Abdul Rahman has scored uh, 230 over 300 in three subjects, what is the percentage? Uh, what you have to do is 230 over 300 into 100. Correct. Now, while simplifying, two zeros in the denominator cancel out, and two zeros in the numerator cancels out. So it is two thirty over three. How do you do this? A simple simplification, simple division. Uh, three ones. Three. How many times is twenty three? Three seven times is twenty one. Two three two remaining. Three how many times is twenty? Three three six three seven. Three seven times is twenty one. We cannot go to four seven. 3, 6 times is 18, 19, 20, 2 remaining. And again, it's 76.66 percentage. 76.6 something percentage, okay? Yeah. So the percentage topic is clear. Can we do this? Wait, like you see how you wrote 200? Okay, look, example, I don't want you, I don't want to use the fractions method. Can I just do it like this? 230 over... Times 100. Zero times zero equals zero. Zero times three is three. Zero times two is zero. And then um, zero times zero is zero. Zero times three is zero. Uh, no, wait, wait. First you put an X and then zero, zero, um, zero. And then, and then another was zero, zero. And then one times zero equals zero. And then one times three, and then two. it's actually a big process, beta. So what we do is we just simplify and do it, okay? Moreover, but, you but, have. But is this still correct, like this one? It's correct. It's still correct. It's correct, beta. It's correct. It's absolutely right. But uh, previously we have studied fractions, right? 
So, so the answer, wait, wait, so the answer of this is two, 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 three, zero, zero, zero. Yes, twenty-three thousand is not the answer. Twenty-three thousand over what was given? Over three hundred. Over three hundred. Yeah, two thirty over three hundred times the hundred gave you percentage, right? Abdul Rahman scored two two thirty out of three hundred in three subjects. So, okay. Uh, so, so the percentage would equal to two three zero 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 percent. No, it's not the two three zero 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 percent. Two thirty into into hundred. You just have multiplied two thirty with hundred, and you have not uh completed this over over three hundred. You have not uh, divided it, right? So what what's the next step then? Next step is dividing the whole with three hundred. Well, wait, so so then you divide two three zero 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 with three hundred with three hundred. Yes, Rita. Okay, so can I do it? Yes, yes, please. I'll erase everything here. Yeah. Three zero 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 or three hundred zero divided by three hundred. So it goes like, no, 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 you can't do that. You no. can't do that because it's not hundred. It's three hundred, right? Three hundred divide. You want divide to do it this way? Two three. Zero zero zero. Okay. Which equals to? Okay, how many times is it? Two three zero uh, zero. Can you can you please wait? Uh, I'll just show you a simplified met method here. Twenty three thousand over three hundred. If you write it down like this, two two zeros here and two zeros here cancel out. Now you can only solve for three divided by two thirty. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, so a uh, solve here, Abdul Rahman. Solve for this. Yeah. I'll erase that. Twenty-two is zero, so we take twenty-three. So three six three six nine twelve fourteen eighteen twenty-one seven seven, and then remainder two. Yes, better. Remainder two. Um, twenty. So three six three six nine twelve three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen. So that equals to six, and then point three, I think. Is this correct? Can you please calculate that for me? Is it seventy-six point three? Do it again. Do it. Do it again, Abdul Rahman. Where were we? What's remaining here? Eighteen was taken, right? Two is remaining here. And what do we do here is uh, put a point and carry zero here, right? Yes. So it's again six. I don't know how to do long division. You do not know how to do long division. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do you do here is? Should I teach you now? Mm, yes. Yes, I'll teach you. Okay. I uh, see. What you do here is three. What was the uh, question given? A uh, three divided by two thirty, right? Uh, two thirty divided by three. Now three, how many times is twenty three? Um, three. Seven. Three seven times is twenty one, right? What's remaining, Abdul Rahman? Um, three two, two is remaining. Two is remaining. Yeah, zero zero is borrowed from here. Okay, now three, how many times is twenty? Three six times is eighteen, right? Yes. Yes. What's remaining, Abdul Rahman? Two, two, uh, two is remaining again, right? So what we do here is we put a decimal point and carry a zero here, right? Yes. Along with twenty. Now what's three? How many times is twenty? Six times is twenty, right? Yes. Almost yes. eighteen. Eighteen again. Two is remaining. Now let's stop till here. It becomes seventy six point six six approximately. Okay. Seventy-six point six 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 seven. Yes, yes. It's a recurring, recurring, recurring decimal. Uh, so uh, you will study this in higher, higher, higher classes, okay? Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. So, so we have understood this concept. We have solved few problems yesterday, right? Uh, what's again? Again, what's a percentage? Come on, let's recall what was studied earlier. A percentage is a number or a ratio that can be expressed as a fraction of. You see, for that, for the one before, uh, can we do like a few more um 
a few more so I can get more stronger at it. Yes, 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 yes. We'll do a few more. Uh, today we have a worksheet on that. Inshallah, I'll show you. Okay. Uh, now, uh, just recall what is the percentage. The definition of percentage is nothing but part over whole. Correct? Yes. Part over 100, right? Yes. Okay. How do you ca calculate the percentage? It is nothing but total value, uh, value over total value, right? Yes. Value over total value into 100. Part over total into 100. It, it means it is part over total into 100. Okay, we have an example here. 2 over 5 into 100. Come on, do this, Abdul Rahman. Okay. 2 over 5 into 100. Do this, uh, do this in your rap book and uh, tell me the answer. Okay, um, do it in my rough book? Yes, yes, please. Um, what was the question? 2 over 5 into 100. Uh, is my screen not visible to you? A bit. It's just breaky. I can't see it. Oh, now it's clean. Now it's clean. Okay, okay. Okay, so... Um, so what was the question? Uh, 2 over 5? Times the 100. Times the 100, yeah. Okay, so two over five into hundred over one, correct? Yes. So two over two. five. Two into hundred gives you over one. Okay, so two over two into hundred it gives you two hundred. Over into one gives you five. Five. Yes. Now it's 200 over 5. What, uh, okay, uh, will it be divisible by 5? Will the numerator and denominator be divisible by 5? Yes, right? Yes. 5 1 times is 5. 5 how many times is 200? 5 4 times is 20 and 0 remaining. So it is 40, 40 over 1. Uh, so 40 over 1, that is 40 percentage. Very good. MashaAllah. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, let's see the a uh, few more examples. Okay. 2 over 5 is done. Okay. We have discussed all this in yesterday's class. Do you remember this, Abdul Rahman? Yes. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Can we solve one so one problem here? Uh, Eight point five over hundred. Uh, zero point zero eight five. Can you express this in percentage, please? Which one is it? Oh, this one. Okay. This one equals to zero. No, I mean eight point five. Percentage. Very good. What have you done here? You have multiplied this with 100, correct? Uh, to get the percentage value. Very good, Peter. Okay, mashallah. Uh, this examples we had solved earlier, right? Uh, let's solve this to, again. Let's solve this again. Okay. One example, 600. Okay. 25 percentage out of 600. How do you do this is 25 over... A percentage. How is percentage written? 25 over 100, correct? Yes. This should be multiplied with the total value. 600 to get the 20, 25th part of 600. Correct? Correct? Wait, can you can you record like this part that you're explaining and send it to my mom's WhatsApp? Yes, yes, beta. So I can like um, watch the video and like I can like uh, find out more about it. Okay, okay, okay. I'll send it. This this me this uh, meeting is being recorded. Okay, I'll send the recording inshallah. Okay. 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 Uh, so uh, twenty five over hundred. Yes. Is it twenty five percent? It's given over here, right? Yes. And it is multiplied with the total value. one. No, six hundred over one. Yes. 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 Very good. So. Uh, what do you do here? Come on, let's solve this together, Abdul Rahman. Um, 20, okay, so two zeros, two zeros cancel out. That's all. What's remaining now? 25 that times the 6. Now multiply 25 with 6. Um, then 
Are you sure? Yes. Do it again. Okay. So six times five equals to thirty. Yes. So it is not one hundred and fifty-six. It's one hundred and fifty. Okay. Oh, so. Okay. So what's one one fifty? It's twenty five percent of six hundred. So have you understood this concept? Can I do it like myself once? Yes, yes, yes. I'll okay. give you another uh, another. No, 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 the same is the same one. Can I do it myself? Okay, you want to do same one? Okay. Yeah. Come on, solve this. Bit. Okay, so so twenty five over hundred. Times six hundred. Uh, why did we do this, Abdul Rahman? We wanted to extract twenty five percent out of the whole, correct? Yes. Yeah, so six hundred over one. Yes, Peter Masha. Okay, and then we do twenty five times six hundred. No, Beta. What first? At first, whatever we do, what we do here is uh, we cancel out zeros. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it becomes easier for you. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty over one. Yes. So, so it's one fifty. Yes, Mashallah. Uh, I'll give you another problem to solve. Do it now on the board, okay? Uh, come on, solve this, Abdul Rahman. Come okay. on, solve this on the board. The thirty or the thousand. Check this please. Uh, this one, the second okay. one. Okay. Okay. So thirty over hundred. Uh, beta. What no, should I mean, we do here? Thousand. No. No twenty. Twenty. The percentage can only be written as twenty over hundred. Not thirty, thirty. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you understanding this concept? Yesterday we have discussed everything. So, so, well, so it becomes thirty over one. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's thirty over one. Correct. Okay. Then twenty over hundred. So you cancel the zero. I think. Yes, beta. Cancel the zero of the thirty and zero of hundred. So three times two equals to six. No, over no, no. No, you did wrong here. Wait, 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 wait for me. Wait for me. I'll explain to you again. What you have to do here is first write percentage. Percentage into fraction format is twenty over hundred. Correct? Yes. Yes. Then you need to multiply this total value here to get the desired value. What the question here is, is you have to deduct twenty per twenty percent of thirty. Twenty percent of thirty. Twenty percent of thirty. This can be written in this way, right? Twenty percent of thirty is nothing but twenty over hundred into thirty, right? Yes. Yes. This is the question. Twenty over thirty uh, over hundred into thirty. Now, how do we do here? Is zero zero cancels out. One zero one zero can cancel out, and the one zero in the numerator again. a uh, cancels out with 10 in the denominator now what's left of the rahman is 3 2 times is 6 that's wait, can all you do, can you do this wait, so yes can, yes okay, yes can i do can i do the calculation yes you have to do this now so you calculate so okay wait so so you did 20 over 100 Why is it so? It is nothing but they have asked us twenty percent of thirty. Yes, we had discussed this earlier. We had discussed this in yesterday's class, so I didn't explain to you again. I'll explain it now. Twenty percent of dollar thousand. Okay, it's in this way. It's come to be that it's twenty percent of thousand and twenty percent of thirty. All right. Yes. So yes, my sir. Three equals to six. Six. Yes, oh, very good. One. So it is six. What is the yeah. six, Abdul Rahman? What is the six indicates? Can you tell me what does the six indicates? A hole. No, it's not a hole. It's a part uh, of it, a it, hole. It's not a part part of a hole. No, 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 no. It's twenty percentage of thirty. Thirty is a hole. Okay. Yes. Thirty okay. is a quantity. Okay, 
this 20 percent they have asked in the question is find 20 percentage out of this 30 oh okay okay so what's 20 percent is only the quantity six okay this okay. is the percent are you understanding the concept now yes yes we'll see another example okay okay all the examples are same as the, as that of previous uh, now it's dollar 50 okay yes dollar 50 they have asked 20 percent of this dollar 50 what is 20 percent of this dollar 50 what it should be it should be in dollar itself right it should be expressed in dollar itself right yes yes so how do you solve this abdurrahman oh, the question is simple dollar 50 20 percent of dollar 50 correct yeah. as simple as that 20 percent of dollar 50 how do you do this is 20 um, over 20 over 100 very good yes multiplied times, with times over the, one. yes mashallah can i do it can i do it yes 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 you have across, to do this one. cross cross no beta you cannot cross it in that way one zero in the numerator and one zero in the numerators have crossed out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this one has to be. This one has to be. This one has to be. Okay. This one and this one you have crossed out. And the oh, zero of the 20 and 10 is crossed out now. 10 over 10. No. You're wrong. No, because 5 times 2 equals to 10. 10 times 1 equals to 10. Abita, I'll do it here. Uh, so we have 20 over 100 into 50 over 1, correct? Yes. Uh, okay. You see here, 1 0 in the numerator is cancelled out. 1 0 in the denominator is cancelled out, correct? Yes. Now search for another 0 in the numerator and the denominator. Oh, okay. okay. So if one this one... Yes, yes, yes. If this and the numerator cancels out, then the uh, 0 of the 10 also cancels out. So it's only 2 and 5 are left in the numerator, correct? Uh, it's 10 over 1. Yes. So the answer is 10 over 1. 10. So you have understood it I'm now? Seven. Have you understood this now, Abdurrahman? Yes. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Uh, so what was the question? Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty, twenty percent of dollar fifty. What is twenty percent of dollar fifty now, Abdul Rahman? Um, fifty over one. No. Oh, it's mean, um, the, uh, 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 the answer. Five dollars. Five dollars. What was the answer, Abdul Rahman? It was ten. Okay, okay. So it is dollar ten, correct? Okay, I'll give you another question. You have to solve this on the screen now. Okay. The question is 20% of one half. Come on, solve this for me, please. Yesterday we have solved all of these problems. Do you remember? Do you remember yesterday we had solved all of these problems? Yes. Yes. Uh, let's solve this, please. Twenty okay. percent of a one of one hair. Uh, what? Okay. How? Uh, how can one you do this? H R equals to sixty minute. Yes. Minute. Okay. So it is twenty percent of sixty minutes. Correct. Let's solve right, for can this. I do it myself. Yes, yes, you have to do it by yourself now, okay? 20% okay. of 16 minutes. minutes. This is the actual so question. We are going to solve this now, okay? Over 100, yeah? Yes. Times 60 over 1. MashaAllah, as simple as that. So you have understood this concept clearly now? Yes. So, so then, then you cross out today. this one, you cross out that one, you cross out that one, no, you cross no, out no. that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, one numerator, one zero in the numerator, one new one zero in the denominator. 
then one new zero in the numerator and again one zero in the denominator okay yes so is it okay. is this the crossing out correct yes 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 there are two zeros in the numerator and two zeros in the denominator we can cancel it out together very good so what's the answer now the rahman equals to 12 over one so it is 12 what's the what's the unit to, to be written along with 12 12 percent What's the unit, beta? Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Yes, yes. So what is what does this what does this answer infer? It says that twenty percent of one hour is twelve minutes. Correct? Yes. Yes. Have you understood this now? Beta. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yes. yes Perfection. Okay, this this one you have to solve now. No. Solve here. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay so one K equals X equals to one thousand meters. Very good, Peter. Meters. Yes, Marshall. So fifty no no, I can just say the answer. 500 meters. Yes. How how did you do this? Okay, it's the so five, five, one one kilometer. The 50, 50 over 100 times 1,000. Okay. Okay. Mashallah. Over one. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, eight minute. I'll tell you how to have to cancel out zeros. Just see here. Um, two zeros in the numerator. Okay. Two zeros so in the denominator. One zero here. Two yes. zeros there. So now uh, no, we do no, no, no. You cannot cancel all the three zeros. The, the zeros in the numerator and the zeros in the denominator can cancel out. See here, we have two zeros here in the numerator, right? Two in the denominator. Mm. Only we can cancel two zeros, Abdurrahman. Yeah, that's what I did. No, you have cancelled three zeros. What do you mean? Uh, check it again, please. You should not cancel okay. the zero of 50. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So you have so got five wrong answer. This is a wrong answer. 500 over 1. Yes, 500 over 1. Very good. Why? Because you have, you had cancelled the 0 of the 50. So it is 50 over 100 into 1000. How you do it here is, uh, look at this, Abdurrahman. Two zeros in the numerator cancels out. Two zeros in the denominator cancels out. Now there are no zeros left in denominator, right? Yes. So why did you cancel the 0 of the numerator? I forgot. Okay, you should not. You should, you should. Okay. Okay, so you have understood this? Okay, Alhamdulillah. So it is a 500 meters, right? Yes. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Clear. Okay, Abdurrahman. So let's solve this. It's easy peasy, as you say. Correct? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. Now, come on, Abdurrahman. Solve this. Okay, easy. Yes, it's very easy. No, it's not easy. It's easy, beta. What you do here is 0.25 can be expressed in in in. Oh, times 100, times 100, times 100. Yes, yes. No, time. It's uh, you should not do times the 100. It can be expressed in fraction as 25 over 100, right? Yes, 25 over 100 times. 24. That's all. Over yes. one. Yes. That's all. So can I cancel out these zeros or no? No, you cannot cancel out. There, there are no zeros in numerator. No, 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 this one, one, these ones, these ones. These zeros cannot cancel out because there are no zeros in the numerator. Oh, okay. Okay, so 25 times 24. Uh, can we not simplify this, Abdurrahman? We have recently studied the fractions. 
<laughs> yeah. You are making it difficult for you. You are making it difficult for you. Twenty five multiplied. No, but I, I, no, I like this one. I like doing this. Uh, but let's do simplification, okay? Because you have oh, to revise. By, by the time I do it, I can finish this in like two seconds. Look, okay, twenty. Oh, yeah. So oh. four times two equals to eight. Ah, uh, plus ten. So that's ten. And then you put a zero. You get a big fat zero, and then you put a zero, and then you put a one, and then you put a two, four, plus one, five. Done. Six hundred. Yeah, you're not done. You're not done. There's a division here, right? Six hundred over six hundred over six hundred over hundred. Hundred. So what's the answer now? Six hundred. Eh? Six hundred over hundred. Six hundred over hundred equals to six. Yes. Okay. It's it's equal to six. Uh, I'll teach you simplification for this problem now. Let's do simplification. Instead of multiplying in this way, I'll teach you how to simplify. Uh, come on. Uh, look here, Abdurrahman. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, in which table is twenty five and hundred are divisible? Huh? In which table twenty five and hundred is divisible? In which table twenty five and hundred? Twenty five table. In twenty five. Okay, twenty five one times is twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. How many times is hundred? Four times. Four. Correct. Huh. So it is twenty four over four. Correct. Four one times is four. Four how many times is twenty four? Four six times is twenty four. It is as simple as that. We did such a big procedure, Abdul Rahman. The simplification is very easy. Okay. Okay. Can you can we do this in next problem? Simplifying instead of okay. multiplication. Okay. Okay. Chalo. Uh, let's do it uh, soon. Okay. Point five of one day. One day, okay. Abdul Rahman, this one. One what? One day, sorry. Oh. Okay. What's point five? Yeah. What's point five? How can we express point five? Five over. Ah. Oh. Is it five over hundred or is it fifty over hundred? Fifty over a hundred. No, 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 no. You can do a way easier way than that. Look, yes, yes. You can just do one over two yes, times very twenty-four good, very good. over one. Over what? Yes, very good, Bita. Mashallah. Twenty-four over one, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Which equals to one times twenty-four, twenty-four. Two times two equals to four. Two times one. Two times one equals. It's there's no two in the in the denominator, right? Two times oh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Two times one, yeah, one. Oh no, I thought that okay, was two. Okay, it is. It is twenty-four over two. What's twenty-four yes. over two? Twelve over one, which is twelve. Yes, beta, mashallah. So it is twelve. What? What have we? Uh, what? Uh, what? What did? What did we get here? It's twelve hearts, right? The half of day is nothing but twelve hearts. Uh, is that answer right? Yes. How will you compare it? A day has a twenty-four hours. What's the half of a day? It is twelve hours. As easy as that. Correct? Yes. Now please convert zero point two into percentage. How do you write it in fractions? Zero point two. Abdul Rahman, how do you write it in fractions? Yes. How do you write zero point two in fractions? Zero point two in fractions. Abdul Rahman, can you hear me out?
Okay, you're back? Yes, I'm back. It kicked me out, I think. No, no. I think there was a, an a internet problem over your end. Okay. Okay. Okay, quickly uh, tell me the uh, fraction format of this decimal, Abdurrahman. Do it soon, What please. is that Wait. word? Uh, it is 0 0.2. Uh, write it in fractions, please. No, no, this word. It is F R A C T I O N fraction. Oh, fraction. Okay, write the How fraction. Why like that? Doesn't make sense. Yeah. How do you write like that? Is that cursive Zero. handwriting? Uh, it's it's the writing. Can you can you write it? Uh, can you uh, read it now? Yeah, now I can read. But like it's confusing to read it because it's like designed. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, let's focus on the problem now. What's 0 0.2 in the fraction format, please? 20 over 100. Yes, very good. How do you do this now? 0 0.2 of 10? Times 10 over 1A. Okay, 0, 0 gets cancelled out. So, so you get cancelled. Can do you cancel this one or leave this one? Yes, yes, you can cancel that as well. Very good. 0, 0 cancels out. So the answer is 2. Okay? Yeah. So you have understood all the concepts? Okay, Monday you have exam, okay? Monday I have, I don't have an exam on Monday. Monday you Monday have, have a school. test. Monday you have a test with us. Oh, with, I'll, with, I'll with my, it's my school. Okay, on the same timing, on the same timing. No, at school do I have an exam or here do I have mm -hmm. an exam? On, uh, uh, with me, you will have an exam. Oh, here, yeah, right? I thought I had an exam over at school. Yes, 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 yes. I'll send you all the portions, all the syllabus for the exam. You have to study and come, okay? Inshallah. You have to do this, inshallah. Okay. Come on, let's quickly finish the percentage topic so that percentage is If I is get okay. time, if I get time. Okay, you have to make time for this. No, because I have a cricket match, which lasts okay. for two days. Okay, you can make, make time, inshallah, at least, and have it per day. Because I'm playing test cricket. Okay, mashallah, barakallah. Do well in it. Don't stop. Okay, better. Okay, let's continue, please. Yes. Okay. So how uh, what more? Uh, 15 minutes, no, sorry, 10 minutes more. I'm so tired. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, can I do it at home. homework? No, you cannot do it at home though, as homework because I have to teach you this concept. Can I do it myself over here? On the yes, screen? you have to do it by yourself. And there is a, a difference here. over 100. Yes. Multiplied by? Multiplied by 65. 65. Yes, very good, very good. Over 1. Cross. Cross. Yes, very good. Now it is 65 over 10. Correct? 1 is equal to 65 dollars. I cannot solve. 10. 65 over 10. It's 65 over 10, Abdurrahman. Correct? Yes, yeah, yeah, 65 over 10. Now, how do you do this is we divide it by 5. 5, how many times is 10? 5, 2 times is 10, right? Yes. Then, 5, how many times is 65? 5, 5, 1 times is 5. 1 remaining. 5, how many times is 15? 5, 3 times is 15, correct? So, it is 13 over 2, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now divide this up, Rahman, soon. Okay. 2 over 13, okay. So two goes thirteen, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. A six point one. Six point one. It's not six point one, it's six point five. Oh, okay. So it is six point five. What is six point five here? Is it a percentage or the quantity? Quantity. What is the quantity mentioned here? It's dollar, right? Dollar six point five. Dollar is the unit here. It's dollar six point five. What does this infer, Abdurrahman? Can you please tell me what does this infer? What, what does this indicate? What does this indicate? What does six point five indicate? Dollar six point five indicate. Oh, the, the discount of each. Yes, very good. It is a six point five. The discounts a discount over sixty five. Correct. Yes. 
if you have issues of dollar dollar if you have issues of dollar 65 then they'll give you dollar 6.5 as a discount so you have understood this concept right alhamdulillah we have more problems here based on this we have a chair of three types correct buy that chair can i buy it yes you are buying it for dollar 1500 why is it so why is it so expensive it's expensive because it's from a quality store it's for okay. 1500 dollars oh it's Just 1, for a chair are you serious yes beta okay now how do we do this beta okay okay so one bam okay can i do it? okay Uh, yes please yes uh, now you have to say uh, you have to tell me which is the uh, which chair costs you very less 20 over 100 a which is the cheapest chair among all these three times uh 20 over no no no, 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 no 20 uh, wait no 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 wrong you're wrong, wrong. Uh, times, times 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 One five zero zero. Can we quickly solve one. for all the three? You can cancel this one, this one. So you can cancel this one, this one. Then Very good. So it is twenty into fifteen. It's twenty into fifteen. Twenty into fifteen. Yes. Solve this, Abdul Rahman. I'm doing no. multiplication. I'm not multiplication. No, you cannot do simplification because you do not have anything in the denominator. Oh, okay. You just have to multiply it. So I put a zero, zero, five, two, ten. One times zero, zero, one times two, two. No, 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 no. Zero, zero, two. Zero. No, wait, wait. Oh my God. Zero, zero, three, three hundred. Three hundred over ten. I mean there's, one. There's no ten here. It's one. So it is three hundred. Correct. Mm. Now next chair, Abdurrahman, do it soon. Okay. I've raised everything on the screen. Mm. How do you do this? The next one. Do it soon, Vita. Okay. Okay. So ten over what? Ten over ten over a hundred times one two five zero over one. So you cancel this zero out. 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 So it equals two. One to five over one to five over one. So one to five dollars. Woo! Done. Okay, next one soon, please. Okay, so can you raise this? Yes, I'll do it. It is one twenty-five. Chalo. Then, okay, erased. The third part. Okay. Oh my God. Twenty-five so over. Twenty-five okay. over hundred times one six zero zero over um. Over one, yeah. Yes, two zeros cancel out. Two zeros cancel out is twenty-five into sixteen. What is twenty-five into sixteen now, Abdul Rahman? So all this. Twenty-five into sixteen. Oh my God! Six times five equals to thirty. Zero is three. Six times six is twelve. Twelve fifteen. So you put another zero now. Five times five is two. Five, five times. Uh, no, what am I doing? Twenty-five multiplied with sixteen. How do you do this, beta? Well, no, I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong. 
Okay, can I do it again? Yes, 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 please. 25 times 16. So 6 times 5 you do, which equals to so, so, um, 30. So 0, 3, 6 times 2 equals to 12 plus 3, 15. You cancel this 0 out and then you put a big 0. So 1 times 5 equals to 5. 1 times 2 equals to 2. So 0, 0, 1, 2. 400. Yes, very good. It's 400, okay? Now, which is the cheapest to trade among all this? Um, the, this one. The second wala, right? It's, uh, it, it has? Second wala. Okay, chalo. Clear all drawings. Yeah. Okay, beta. Uh, let's see a few more and then let's... No! Uh, Can I do it as homework? Okay. Eight minute, eight minute, eight minute. Uh, did we not uh, do it wrong here? What was the question? Can you read the question for me, please? The Smiths are shopping for a new chair. Yes. They are confused by the deals offered. Help them choose the cheapest chair. Which one do you estimate? This okay. one, of course. No, Beta, it's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because we have $1,500. The cost price, okay? Yeah. Right? What is this? Three, 300 is nothing but 3 is the discount. What is this 300? Discount. Yes. What, uh, what will be the chairs, uh, cost of the chair if 300 is removed from 1,500? 1,000. 1,000? 1,200. Yes, very good. So this chair costs 1200 and not 300 correct? Yes. Yes. Now what about this chair? Soon. 1250 minus 125, correct? Yes. So it is? 5 5 2 1 1, one. So it is 1 1 2 5 the cost of the second chair is 1125. The cost of the third chair is 1200. 200, 1200. Now, which is the lowest or the chair with the lowest cost? The second, the third one. Again? The third not one is the first one. It's not third one? The first one, the first one, the first one, I mean. It's not the first one? Second one. Check the cost price, beta. It's uh, now the cost price after the discount is now the selling price after the discount is one thousand two hundred. Selling price after the discount is one thousand one hundred twenty-five. Sen selling price after the discount is one thousand two hundred. Which one is the cheapest chair now? I know. Um, the first. second one, right? Second one. I know. Thousand two two hundred thousand one hundred. Which is smaller one? Yeah. On the second one, right? So you're done. Alhamdulillah. Uh, are the concepts clear now? Yes. Okay, I have uh, all this uh, problems are for homework now. Okay? I'll send you the PDF. Or you solve this as your homework, inshallah. Okay? How many pages? Uh, I'll let you know in the WhatsApp, okay? Okay, we're done. Zakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.